Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to talk about how to figure out topics for your blog to write about on Pinterest. And so this is my actual Pinterest. You'll see a lot of uh, artsy craftsy stuff because I do a lot of that and then marketing, right? Or tech companies, things like that. But you're going to have to go a little bit different and a little bit deeper to find things to write about for your blog when you're just starting out. So let's go here. This is my artsy fartsy life. And I write about all different kinds of things. So I write about cleaning your craft room and kitchen spray bottles and upcycling vintage crafts, things like that, storage, uh, caregivers. So would you want to look at somebody's thing and go, oh, I should make washi, what you're saying is I should make washi tape holders. Absolutely not. You want to look at, oh, step-by-step -step crafts, cleaning tips, um, storage boxes, things like that. And then you're going to start writing those types of things down and seeing how they perhaps would mesh, would, would mesh with what you're doing. So how to get rid of fruit flies. Say you're like, you read that and you see how to get rid of fruit flies and you're like, oh my gosh. I have the best recipe for how to get rid of fruit flies, and it is unique, easy, and fast. Okay, so you're going to write that down, and you're going to say, fast and easy way to get rid of fruit flies, okay? Now, you don't want to necessarily compete head-to-head -head with somebody who's already on Pinterest. You kind of want to go a little bit sideways, right? So, natural ways to clean your coffee pot. You may want to say, you may be like, okay, these natural people are just on my last nerve. I want to show them how to disinfect their coffee pot so that they don't have any germs, right? So that would be a way for you to talk about kind of the same topic, but in your own special way. So now let's look at Stephanie. Stephanie's my internet friend, and we're going to go through her stuff, and she has... Um, corn pudding recipe, that's very southern, old-fashioned, tuna noodle. Now, in this time, I'm sure that um, comfort foods are doing really, really good. Creamy beef and shells, Rotel dip, meatloaf, tuna noodle casserole, peach stump cake. Okay, so the best peach stump cake. Now, you wouldn't want to try to go head-to-head -head, uh, against Stephanie with the dump cake because she's already winning, right? But say I did want to do something with peaches or I wanted to do um, blackberries, right? So then I'm like, okay, we're going to check peaches and we're going to check blackberries because I have blackberries. We're in Florida. They're very inexpensive right now and we don't have peaches. All right. So we would start to think that way. And then if you literally have no idea what to write about and you want to kind of get overall ideas, you can go to a site like the Huffington Post and you'll see all different things. Wedding desserts, Christmas brunch, roasted vegetables, organize your art studio, uh, photos of British wildlife, email list, branding, gelato, paleo lunch, writing, um, nachos, Desk job may be hurting your health. Roasting chestnuts. So what you can do is you can just go through here and start thinking about what you might want to write about. So how are you going to do this? How are you going to functionally do it? What we're going to do is we're going to start up here. And we're going to do a search for peach, right? Because we saw that it was peach dump cake, right? But we don't want to compete with Stephanie on peach thumb cake because she's kicking up, you know, she's kicking butt with that right now. So we could do peach donuts. Ooh, baked peach donuts. Uh, peach cookies. That looks good. Um, and then you also want to look up here in this little list across here. So now we're going to look at peach cobbler because I know how to make cobbler. Okay, let's start to see what it says about this. So easy seems to be a thing because it's right there easy peach cobbler southern peach cobbler best peach cobbler so i would start writing all those adjectives down right oh there's peach crisp peach crisp so 
if it was me, I would have a little section on my site that was peach recipes, peach cobbler, peach crisp. Then maybe once I had a little background of peaches, then I might try the peach stump cake. But let's go with easy because we're going to just try to narrow this down a little bit. Easy peach cobbler. Okay, so what, what is making this easy? Easy peach cobbler, easy peach cobbler, peach stump cake would seem easy. Um, somebody's making a video of it. Somebody's showing the steps. The best peach cobbler, country peach cobbler. Three ingredients. Three ingredients to me feels like easy. While I was researching this um, before, there was one about the Instant Pot. So how cool would it be to make your peach cobbler in the Instant Pot? And that way you didn't even have to be there to do it. So you're going to want to do that. So say you were going to use fresh peaches. Okay, so peach cobbler, easy, fresh. Um, bits quick, dump cakes, recipes, crock pot, crock pot. Okay, so peach cob cobbler crock pot. Here we go. You got a lot less um competition so i said i would have a peach cobbler peach uh crumble peach stump cake but you could also go wide with all different kinds of cobbler you could have blackberry cobbler so say you become the queen of cobblers right and you test them all you do no fat cobbler locale cobbler um keto cobbler skillet cobbler with pie crust, with cake mix, they're going to give you all these different, I gluten-free, gluten-free, what? You can't make gluten-free peach co blackberry cobbler. Well, some people are making it. Gluten-free blackberry cobbler. Imagine that. There's something for everybody. So those are ways to go through. Oh, here, we still have little dots. So let's say easy gluten-free blackberry cobbler. Okay, so that gets us to the end. Um, so this is something that you want to start thinking about, collecting those keywords. So we have, say you're doing your gluten-free, you want to know, should you use almond flour? It's simple. It's easy. The best one. Can you do it with cake mix? Cake mix would make it easy, right? So that's a way that you could absolutely start to find Things to write about on Pinterest for your blog topic. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.